Hey, everybody! We are back with Shadowcasters Network presents Misspent Youth, the game of youthful rebellion in a f***ed up future. (laughs) (laughs) Editing yourself after all the F-bombs we've dropped in past episodes? Never quite sure if I should go all in on that or not. Go all, always go all in. I have an image to maintain. Uh, but we are here. We are grateful to uh, be back with you, and we are excited to either be the man or take down the man. To my, to my, I don't know. I'm backwards. To your <laughs> left of me, all the way is Cliff. Cliff, who's your character? And introduce yourself. Hello, welcome. I am Bell Truth. My name is Cliff, also known as Mr. Johnson of the Arcology Podcast and other things on the Shadowcasters Network, including this, in which I am Bell, Bell Truth, who is a pirate radio prod- pirate radio podcaster who knows the truth that aliens have caused this horrible, uh, twisted version of a world religion uh, that has infected us with, uh, with this disease that kills most, but apparently it's left me alive with uh, an immunity and some strange electrical power. Shocking. Nah. And, uh, <laughs> 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 Show's over. <laughs> and, uh, I'm cool. Uh, I've sold out my um, optimism for cynical. I am sneaky. I have electric surges, and I believe that aliens are the source of, of the troubles that we're facing. Right on. To his right, we have Cassie. Hi, I'm Cassie. I do stuff on the Shadow Catchers Network and on my channel, Original Box Set. And I play Unity, the youngest member of the group, who is trying really hard to, like, hold on to, like, the true, like, purpose of our team um, and getting kind of knocked around for it. I've already uh, sold out two of my uh, conventions, and the fast and to efficient and orphan to helpless, and um, I'm... Hoping that uh, maybe I might not sell out all of them tonight. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm going to try to force yeah. the issue. <laughs> all the way on the bottom left is Katie. Hi. So I play Alice, the pyromaniac atheist scientist that has, well, much like me, a penchant for dropping F bombs and lighting shit on fire. So it's phenomenal. It's great. I have already sold out uh, Outrage, and I'm now wrathful, so a little extra hot under the collar, never a bad thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Burn, I love my my build encounters like two now for burning shit down. Yeah. Yeah, two. Yeah. It's, two. It's, let's, let's burn a few more down before the night's it's done. It's pretty solid. I think you'll have the opportunity. <laughs> and on the bottom right, last we have Oz. Hey everybody, I'm Oz. I am the GM of Join the Anarchy here on this exact same channel where we play Shadowrun Anarchy Improv. Uh, And uh, I am also voice of Ziggy on Radio Free Detroit. Uh, I work on Anarchology Podcast with Cliff. I do lots of stuff. Things are things are heating up. It's good stuff. Anyway, so I play Strike. I am the oldest of the group. Uh, I'm a bad, bad boy. Uh, and so uh, I, I'm a thrill seeker. I'm sneaky. I'm a shit starter. My, uh, my invisibility power, while I still have it, is now being used. Uh, I've sold it out to be, start using it for invasive reasons rather than anything... Uh, how do we say, uh, moral. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, just last episode, we left off with uh, Strike having a tender moment with Alice. <laughs> um, still isn't getting the vibe that Alice is interested, but maybe she is. But anyway, like, there's potential? Everything's really confusing. There's Hormones. potential for heartbreak for sure. Hormones! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So as per uh, our rules, we are going to start up. We had to begin that. Scene. Introduce yourself. Oh, hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. I am Opti. I am the host of the Neo-Anarchist podcast, uh, founding member of the Shadowcasters Network, and uh, I also write for... For Shadowrun, the RPG, and uh, 
I think I do other stuff, but that'll do for now. I'm apparently the dad of barking dogs, which weren't supposed to bark, but hey, there you go. And uh, I'm playing the Authority, which is the Unity of All, a uh, religious-based uh, totalitarian regime that is bent on halting progress. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna try their best to halt the progress of the of the youths. Yeah. All right. I could go on. I could say. Uh, the, the systems of control that the Unity of All uses are mandatory church attendance, uh, tithing, mandatory tithing, and uh, confession, by which you either confess your sins or confess somebody else's sins and get them in trouble. Um, but they have already lost two of their systems of control, uh, which used to be a plague and the pure ID system, but those have been taken off the uh, table. And instead, the uh, misspent youth have gained minor superpowers and uh, cure for the plague. That's where we start right now. Cool. And um, so, as of uh, go ahead. Yeah. Also, uh, before anything, currently, uh, a way that you guys can help us in the game is to support the yes, channel in any possible way. Us, not the authority. <laughs> yeah. Be, you, be smart about it. Say, it is far more climactic when you give points to the authority because it really, really hurts their feelings. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. feel personally betrayed by every single one that goes to the authority. Um, but yeah, so you can support either the authority or the click every time that you defeat the stream boss, which is on the top right there, uh, by follows, subscriptions, bits, and subs. I said subs. I didn't say subs. Donations. Yeah, great donations. When you do all of those things, you knock health off the stream boss, and when you defeat the stream boss, you get to decide whether you want to give the authority or the click um, a block or a reroll, respectively, which helps uh, in the struggle, which is how we decide who wins the scenes. Our goal for tonight is to have six scenes done by the end of the night and hopefully make this the finale episode. Yeah. So, But in order for that to happen... The players need to be on point. I have to get lots of rerolls so that I can force them to <laughs> sell Suffer. out their convictions. <laughs> yeah, because this will also determine whether the youths or the authority win. We're, we're like neck and neck right now, and there's the possibility of either or winning or losing, so. The more they sell out, the, the, the more chance that this thing is gonna go nuclear by the end. <laughs> That'd um, be great. So let's, let's get started. I don't wanna, I don't want to uh, waste any time. I wanna give the, the fans what they came here for. So we're going to start in scene two after a scene one uh, that was incredibly awkward um, between, uh, <laughs> She's a book it? smart, god damn it, not street and smart. And um, so now now we've got uh, in the aftermath of that scene two uh, in which uh, the, the team starts fighting back. So I think, Oz, you are going to be the one to, uh, to choose either the authority figure or one of the friendship questions that's going to be the focus of this scene. All right, well, before I do, I would just like to note that Radio Free Suplice has become our stream boss and has supported the authority. So, yes. For I'm you, right down here. Time. Thanks, man. Uh, so, let's see. So, my goal for the night is to just fucking kickstart this. <laughs> so, scene two is the fighting back scene. Uh, we have to introduce a beat, which is either a catastrophe, a complication, a discovery, or a reversal. And it's also where we set the question. So I'm thinking this has to be a dramatic, like, fucking ruin everything moment. And I think, um, I would like to hear me out on this one. Because I was, I've been mulling this over for a little bit. <laughs> what if we did, um, the, um, the pariahs, which are the uh, the Lord's Wrath choosing program, kind of like a Professor X uh, scenario, the true path. Um, mm -hmm. But evil. Where, yeah, where we get fucking, like the scene, the first five seconds are our motel hideout getting swarmed. 
swarmed and all of us like just getting thrown into vans. <laughs> Fucking black bagged. Black bagged. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. So okay. the um, the pariahs. This is uh, basically guys who are who are they, they've covered up all of their features in these purple robes, except for their faces, which um, kind of seem like all dark. So it's just basically a floating uh, purple robe. Um, at least that's the appearance they give off, and they just absolutely crack down. Uh, the people who you had gotten to turn to your side in uh, uh, in the last episode uh, are now either fleeing, or they're being thrown in thrown into vans, or being um, being beaten down, or otherwise incapacitated. Some you're afraid have even died, uh, and you're now in a parking lot. You're in the parking lot. You're watching people um, get their windows broken, people getting beat up and thrown into vans, and uh, this is where I pick it up. You're you're getting dragged out of the hotel room uh, and thrown into vans. Journey Jenkins, who was there five seconds ago, has now teleported somewhere. You don't know Mother where. Fucker. <laughs> she leaves us behind. I was just gonna stuff candy under the door. Oh, you're actually a trouble black kitties. <laughs> so, uh, so in, in order, uh, Bell, Unity, Alice, and Strike are being um, you know, uh, man adult. Boot, boot necked uh, out into vans. Oh you my gosh. Could, I'm not going to call for a struggle right now. This is just what's no. happening. You can no. RP it. Um, and if I could. So, all of the people that they rounded up were also um, people that we cured in some. In some capacity, right? Or have we... cured and or uh, developed superpowers on their own? Right. Because um, they you don't you don't seem because the people who were who were all around you immediately uh, were all infected, and they all actually developed powers. So you didn't actually cure any of them. Right. Um, okay. So if anything, what all that we've done is we've gathered a bunch of these people together made it easy to round us all up and now we're all being taken to be These are all the people converted. that you had you had let free in the beginning in the first place. So they're they're being recaptured. Uh the the uh, pariahs seem to have some sort of way to turn off powers cuz they're not they're not giving up much of a fight. I can almost see kind of like oh god what was it from was it from Avatar: The Last Airbender or something like that? They almost had like, they, they collars for that their chi. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Amon. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Amon. Yeah, coming on in and just hitting the pressure points, blocking. Yeah. As Bell's being hauled, he's gonna say, "Hey, why are we? Why are we standing for this? Let's fight them!" And I'm trying my best to just shock the hell out of this fucker. <laughs> oh man, it's just like a static zap. Just like kicking and. Like, yeah, initially you you try to shock him, uh, and whatever whatever it, it is that's that's on his uh, purple robe, the the electricity just falls basically inert. Um, and fuck once Alice, this, Alice, once, oh Alice is kicking. Happens, and... He uh, he just throws on these these weird cuffs onto your hands, and no more lightning. Oh man, yeah, are we shit? Are we being separated, maybe? Probably no, a good idea. Oh. Huh? Oh, good. Babe, do not feel like you are a threat. Alice is fucking kicking uh -huh. and screaming, like, thrashing hard, kicking her legs up, fucking, like, not, like, bodying herself, going yeah. fucking hard, fucking turning herself on as hot as she possibly can, screaming, let me go, let me go, let me go. Yes, yeah, uh, you get, scrappy. you get hot. Um, and then one of them kind of pushes their way past the other ones that were carrying you, who did kind of back off once you started getting hot. But this one just punches you right in the face, uh, oh. puts these cuffs on you, and says, you know what? This is for your own good. Uh, and just starts shouting at you. As loud as you're shouting, this guy is just in your face, absolutely Jeez. being louder. And hey, fuck just you, man! I'm like, I'm just like kicking. I'm like trying to lunge myself. Like, even though I'm being held by the arms, I'm like lunging my feet up, trying to like kick at this guy. Alex there just takes a big her. blood fucking spit and hawks it in the guy's face. Um, he, he slaps you this time, not punches. He slaps you uh, in a way that, again, makes you seem like you're not a threat and he wants to put you in your place. 
uh, and he just now is continuing to yell and threaten and belittle you uh, in such a way that like everybody starts laughing and everybody starts yelling and you are you are now the center of attention and the center of all this derogatory action and people basically uh, calling you uh, you know well all the names I don't want I don't want to be that bad. <laughs> I don't feel like crawling into oh that headspace right now. <laughs> I can't stand for this. I've got to do something. I don't know if we're in a struggle, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be trying to. Uh, now they've uh, yeah. kind of turned their attention on to focus on this one person. I'm a sneaky bastard, so I'm gonna try to slip my handcuffs and uh, see what I can do to, I don't know, sucker punch one of these bastards. And start something. All right. I'll say that you can sucker punch them. But it's still um, not a struggle not yet. A struggle yeah, yet, no. it's still not a struggle yet. Who oh, calls man. it a struggle? Let's see. Uh, yeah, strike is strike is struggling. Yeah, you know like, what? I'll do that. We'll, we'll call it. We'll Let call me it a struggle. Um, what what I want to have happen is that the pariahs, um, if not break your will, uh, oh. that seems that seems to like a little bit like taking action away from you guys. But I want I want you to, um, I want you to be thrown in the back of the vans. Uh, and basically have resigned to the fact that you are you are powerless in this situation. That's impressive, Jet. Yeah, it is. I think that's, what, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Optimistic Opti. I think at this point we can't avoid being taken, but we want to do so with some sort of a dignity and with some of them questioning what they're doing. And, dignity. Uh, and fucking also maybe being blood. a little bit intimidated, like we're like maybe there's a sense of like we're going in here on our own fucking terms, and you all know it. So, Even though we're kind of still forced into it, you know. So we want to be martyrs. Is that our hope? Well, hopefully not that far. Oh. But at least as far as like, you know. I mean, is, is our goal just like he wants to go down swinging versus just going down? Ah. Okay. Just, yeah. Right. Is that yeah. really that much of a hope? Maybe not. I mean, <laughs> well, because it kind of seems hopeless at this point that we're going to get away, so we're trying to make the best of a bad situation. Yeah, we have to. We're making like a show of force. Are like, you want to be inspirational to inspirational, yeah. everybody else yeah. on the way out? Yeah. Inspire that maybe, maybe that this whole fucking thing is just a complete sham if they're going to beat down four fucking teams. Or, or maybe we find out what it is they're using to turn off the powers and, uh, you know find a way to kick some ass. I don't know. That 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 would be more fun, hopeful thing. Also, Palmer uh, has become our stream boss and gave the click a reroll. What's the heck, man? Oh. Thanks, Palmer. You can mostly sometimes count on Palmer. Yeah. All right, so, uh, Cliff, uh, I think you said Bell was going to stand up. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to stand up with my sneaky uh, quality and... Um, I think rather than a sucker punch, I'm going to yeah, I'm, I'm going to kind of like go up to one of these guys with a robe and like give him like a kick to the balls and like pull his robe off and toss it on myself and see if I can't get to the uh, next person that I can help. Maybe um, Unity because uh, yeah. she she might be closer. Strike can probably fade out of the things on his own if he needs to. No, we can't. Her powers are. We can't. Up, so. Yeah, no, I've been I've been she blocked. So I guess oh, I roll, don't I? <laughs> Yep. Uh-huh. Alright, I rolled a nine. So rolling a nine to use my sneaky quality or conviction. Okay. To pull off a quick uh slip the bonds, hit the guy, grab a disguise, and start liberating my friends. Okay, so you you uh, get sneaky. You actually get out of your handcuffs. Um, you sneak behind one of these guys uh, and and sort of grab them in such a way that that you try to jank off one of their robes. Uh, and underneath their robes, un nobody else is seeing you do this. Just you and this one pariah in the back. Uh, underneath the robes is a robot. <gasps> Okay. Like, like oh not God. even a human thing at all, which sort of accounts for some of their um, resistance, but also the way they were talking and the way that they're acting seemed so human, uh, seemed so hateful and awful 
that you're wondering like how this possibly could have been a robot, but there it is, just this, you know, no skin, just metal, and and just uh, he he turns around and uh, and smacks you uh, in the face. Hopefully, being he he wants to get his robe back so that nobody else sees him. Uh, and I'm going to take uh, seven and seven and three. Quick question. Um, did they manage to slip the manacles on Alice? Because last I saw, they were just fucking, like, beating her down and degrading her, but you didn't say if they slipped the manacles on her yet. Uh, I thought that I did. Maybe not. We'll say no for now. We'll say no for the shits and giggles. It would make sense just... that yes, but... Uh, yeah. That's why I wanted just to ask for it, because if I'm gonna stand up next, I just want to make sure my next, like, move isn't... I didn't remember hearing him. Say yeah, it, that's fine. Uh, you, you can have a muff. I, if I didn't say that, then I didn't say it. Let's not let's not get in the habit of uh, retconning for expediency's sake. I'm fine with whatever the GM wants to do. Um, so then I'll stand up and struggle. Said, said no player ever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we do it here because we love telling a good story. <laughs> yeah. Being fair. Or good whatever. Authority. Fucking fair. Ooh, good number. Six. Oh. Uh, so let's see here. I think I am going to fucking go with. Um, let's see here. Poor, poor Alice is just being completely talked down to in a way that she's never been spoken for. Just completely degraded, and she's just absolutely losing her mind right now. So let's just go with the pyrotechnics, and she's gonna try to fucking sin whoever is attacking her still, because she's just had enough of the abuse and fucking curling bloody bit gob. She's going to try to fucking hurl fire again. Even though you've been shocked. Yeah. All right. You How are, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's been she-blocked. That's what I asked earlier. And Opti said no. no. Oh, I thought you said the, the manacles. Told... Yeah, the manacles, which is Those, blocking That was what the they power. were using. That was what they yeah. were using. Oh, I was that's what the the she-block was just a, a reference to Avatar. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Okay, got it. That's that's why. I was so it's the manacles that are stopping the, our powers. The, yes, yes. The the uh, the handcuff manacles are are what seems to be stopping the, the flow of power. Can I even light the robes on fire? I'm gonna try to fucking light the robes on fire in my effort. Just okay. To get them so, distracted and off. So you didn't see what was going on in the back with Bell, and so you start trying to light these guys on fire. Um, a couple of them uh, seem immune for whatever reason. But uh, the ones that you do manage to set on fire, their robes burn off, and now you and probably everybody, you know, in the vicinity, which is, you know, probably not everyone, but but at least a handful of people, uh, including you, they all see these these robots that are underneath the robes. So the these these kind of almost Terminator robots, except like with no with no actual uh, oh, faces. They're just kind of blank, you know, like uh, uh, cylinders for heads. But you all see this, and now it's 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 pretty much out that these pariahs are, are these robotic creatures. But they they do not sound like robots when they turn around and and berate you and and curse at you for being um, uh, thieves and whores and. Uh, they're going to they're going to put you in your place and save save your souls, um, and they don't they don't allow you. They're they're done messing with you now, so they start beating you all mercilessly. Oh. Even um, even Unity, who didn't really <laughs> kick and struggle. scream, at least not yet. Um, but they're they're now setting an example uh, to everybody else in the parking lot by beating the four of you mercilessly. What? Ouch. Uh, you think you're special? You're not special. You're just different. And different isn't any any good. Because if you have something that's good and you're different, that makes you bad. And that's what you are. You're all just a bunch of bad, worthless, twisted little freaks. And they're going to get pounded by the authority because that's what we are. God put us in place to be the authority over you, to take care of you. But sometimes, like children, you need to be taught your place. So bam, 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 bam. And these are robots speaking to you like men. Wow. Wow. And... Shitty robots. Who made these? I know. <laughs> what are you robots? robots are supposed to be robots. cool. 
back whore of Babylon? Really, Damien? <laughs> <laughs> what number? <laughs> what number is that? Six. Uh, oh, well, up to ease. I was. Cho- I had to choose. Let's see. One, two, uh, twelve. twelve. Okay. Fuck. Uh, I will stand up. Mm. I can't. I can't take this kind of shit, man. Seven. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. That's one of his numbers. I gotta. Yeah, I gotta use our reroll. Unless you unless want to just sell, sell out. out and win it, or we lose, or we lose, just and see, see what, or just and see what happens. No, no, <laughs> I can't. You know like I can't override. Win. I can't override your sellout. So it might be worth it. To, it might be worth it to just hang on to our reroll and your conviction. Just take the beat down. <laughs> and that's an avenue that is available to us. They're not exactly looking to kill us. Point. I mean, resign to powerlessness. That remember, is, mm-hmm. Yeah, remember what you're what you're losing here. Like yeah. everybody who's watching you, you know, and everybody, you know, you're. If I win, you all kind of resign to the fact that this is over and you're and you're done. Yeah, that's a that's a you message that we'd be sending to everybody too. So. <sighs> I've learned the trick to this I game think, is yeah. to pick things that it's to pick consequences that you guys do not want. Like it's not enough <laughs> just to move the story forward. It's like no, I don't want that to happen to my character. <laughs> <laughs> I think strike is too prideful to resign to powerlessness. He's gonna try what he can. I am gonna use our reroll. All right. That's what we have it for. Exactly. Okay. And Besides, if I have Palmer to sell out, I'll sell out. <laughs> Roll that seven. A four. All right. Mm. Okay. So with my four, I'm going to use... Uh, I guess I'll use shit starter. It's going to be fun. Yes. Um, Stir the shits. So through my... Through, like, kicks, I'm to my stomach where I'm just like, ugh, ugh, you all fucking knew. You all knew. You all know exactly, ugh. And uh, he's, basically, the idea is these, the unity of all is using all of us. They're uh, they know exactly how to make it happen. They know how to make it stop. They know how. They know every every little thing about ev- all of this, all of these superpowers, about the tears of unity. Doesn't everyone see? We can't let them win. I'm just basically mm-hmm. trying to like. I'm like, and I'm carrying that voice like just fervently through to the crowd and everybody that uh, is being dragged off is fighting hard and realizing exactly like what they're up against that these people have been manipulated have that the that this isn't just all an accident this is this is exactly what the the unity of all wanted in the parking lot people are um, those who who develop powers and were on your side begin to do small little rally of their own. They begin to start to fight back. Um, before they were they were uncomfortable with it, but but they've seen you guys stand up. They've seen you even win, and so they are they are now picking up their own arms and they're starting to fight back. Um, the pariah that's directly in front of you, uh, who is still wearing uh, a purple robe, he was one of the ones that was unaffected for some reason. Um, walks up to you and just puts his hand on your chest, pushes you down, and he, it is so strong that you just you have nothing that you can do about it. Like you're just you're just now forced to the ground. You're you're barely breathing, and he leans in very close to your face, and and now you can kind of see past the mask. It's just this sort of cylinder, and the cylinder starts saying, <clears throat> "Do you know that your art?" is ridiculously bad. Oh, I've seen your graffiti 
and it looks like my little sister was scribbling on, you know, on a, on a, a piece of paper with <laughs> colored soap. I know that if your sisters were here to see this, they would be ashamed of you. It's probably best that they're dead. Oh my god. Oh, and by the way, that little crush that you have on that atheist bitch, not gonna <gasps> happen. She is using you, and you should know that. You're garbage. Everyone hates you. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! And I just want you to know that when all is said and done, and everybody is dying or maimed or losing everything they cared about, it will be 100% your fault. And he just throws you in the back of the van. Oh no! Fuck. <coughs> Whew. And I will take number two! How does your soul two. feel after that, Opti? <laughs> Props, Opti. Holy Props shit. on that one. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, Palmer. Palmer just uh, became, became the stream boss again. <sighs> Where's that going, son? Uh... I don't know. Probably back to the... My toxic anonymous harassment should give me another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what you need. Another chance to fucking tear <laughs> oh poor God. fucking strikes heart out. Oh my God. Um, who's going to stand up next? Man, Palmer did not... I mean, uh, Strike did not take that well. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And now he's, um. uh, he's been thrown into the van and he's just, like, writhing in pain. Um, God. Unity, I'll you stand, stand up. up. I'll stand up, but I don't know what I'm do. I don't know what to do, but I'm standing up. I just saw I... like, like my friends are getting beat up and everything. I like, I saw that they're getting rid of power, so I'm like, I'm not gonna fight back. If I fight back, they're gonna try to take away my power too. I don't even know how they would do that. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They just beat the shit! Oh my gosh! They just shoot back in there! Oh, oh, panic! So panicked. Um, I'm gonna roll my dice. There we go. It's a seven. Palmer gave yep. us a re-roll. Oh, he did? Yes, so it's up to you. Do you want to re-roll or do you want to sell out? Mm. Stop being a fucking shitbird, Damien. See you over there. Roll the seven. <laughs> uh... Um, I will, I will, I will re-roll. Why not? It'll be great. <laughs> because these are limited. That's why. <laughs> Thank I mean, you, I Palmer. Could just, I could just sell out again. I mean, That'll yeah, be fine. it's it's you fine. Know, it's Unity fine. only represents the stripping down of all of our innocence and youth. It's great. And the only one left. We're barely hanging on. Good. Okay. I'm, you know ro what? I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Okay. Six. Okay. That's oh, a win that's for us. Good. Except I know, you know, it's gonna be blocked it's... and. Sh Is no, it? I'll but... let you take it. Oh. Uh, oh, which one was six? Fire. <laughs> okay, so you burned up the the thing, so exposing the robots, and so like I yep. see the I see the manual override on one of them, and I dash away from the one I'm in, and I just I run up and I hit the back of its head right behind its right ear, <laughs> and it's uh and it it stops struggling with Alice. Oh, and Alice lets out a shitstorm of fire in a very conical shape right in front of her of all the fucking robots. In the meantime, uh, uh, so... in the meantime, <laughs> Bell's uh, gotten like kind of the one that was going after him. He he tossed the robe back at it and surprised it. It was tangled up for a moment and actually got up to one of the vans and he's got the van started up and it's smashed into the one that uh um that strike is in. Um, I'm not sure what good that will do, but. It's his gesture. Yeah, I mean, like, at least if we're going there, we're gonna go there without them throwing us into the van. Going out in a blaze of glory? Kinda, yeah. Uh, every, everyone, <laughs> like, the one that you turned off um, was still talking, and it, and it says something like, no fair, I paid for this. And then uh, the one what? that got hit by the car says, like, when, when do I, you know, uh, when do I get to finish this? Uh, and then the other ones are just continuing to try to put you in the van. Um, but you, again, have successfully rallied people. You have shown them that you're not going to stop fighting, so they're not going to stop fighting either. Um, this does lead to complications. Um, 
if you would have went silently and, and quietly, then everybody else probably could have too. But now people are getting hurt and people are, are dying because you guys decided to stand up. Oh. Um, and and that's, that's not necessarily bad. That, that just means this is what happens when people stand up to authority. Uh, people get hurt. So uh, it, you, you can never tell uh, you know, who's going to be the last one, but eventually there has to be a last one. But there also sometimes has to be first. And so you guys aren't killed, but you are very aware of the people that you left behind who are fighting that are. And that's where we'll end scene two. Oh, With all of us black bagged essentially in the back of the vans. Bloodied and dead. bruised. And so... and, uh, and 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 defiant, but also wondering uh Was at it worth the cost? cost? Yeah. So now we have to uh set we create the question for the episode, right? Uh yes. Let's I had wanted to Let's see. Should we art, should we keep going with this a little bit then until we can find a question? We can come up with a question, right? I don't know. Uh, yeah. How about this? Uh, well, you guys should do it. Um. Okay. So, what? What? Um, a question for the episode. I would say. Are we, um, is this, is this an opportunity yeah. for us? Maybe like, I mean, this seems to be a stronger force than we've taken on before. Mm. Is it, I mean, is a good question. Something like, what can we, what can we actually do? Or... Well, I, well, we can, um, we can find out where the true power lies yeah like i mean obviously they've had enough of our shit maybe it's time they're taking us to the head honchos with this though seems like they're really intent on taking us down this time yeah so i mean can we learn the true power behind the idea of all with all of this or can we take it down can we um yeah yeah like can we figure what it out? What out? Bleh, what? Can we figure out what it is and burn it. Are we enough to like... actually change anything? Is another is uh, a suggestion by Avenzi. Yeah, a good one. that's. I mean, can it be an and question? Like, can we learn the true power behind it, and can we even do anything once we find out? Can we actually change. it? So the problem with you know. are we enough to actually change anything is if you answer the question, you still haven't actually done anything. Sure. Right. Yeah. Like, so like, like whether the answer is yes or no, like it doesn't really change anything. So we need a goal. We need a goal goal. Um, <clears throat> will... Because I think... Will we be... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. You start. I was just saying, like, if, if we learn the true power, then that can be a catalyst for us to be able to choose what to do about it. I don't know. That's my thought. Knowledge is power. Yeah. Will we will we be able to work from the inside? <clears throat> is that a good question? Will we be able to take it down from the inside? Will we Is where we're going Because we don't know where we're going, so yeah, it's, it's kind of it's hard to. I was, that's I wonder if we should just play out the a little bit more then, because we're kind of like stalling. Sure. Okay. Trying yeah. to figure out a question. Okay, so you're in the back of these vans. Um, a a a pariah comes up and sits down next to you. Um, there's a little. Uh, compartment or a, a, a divider in the back of these uh, vans. These are not vans. These are more like transport trucks. Um, and, and there's a little uh, <clears throat> divider. The divider opens and and one of these uh, pariahs walks through, uh, kneels down um, in front of Unity 
and speaks with a female voice <clears throat> and says, um, are you okay? Am I okay? Are you, are yeah. you hurt? So, like, I'm pretty sure that I've got a bruise forming across my face. I definitely feel like something is out of place, like, on my shoulder. Like, maybe it popped and it got put back, and so, and, and my eye is swelling up, and I'm, I'm crying because I, everything hurts, and I don't know where we're going, and I'm scared. And so I was like, well, what does it look like to you? I mean, this, obvi of course I'm hurt. Uh, she says it looks to me like like abuse of power it looks to me like you are hurt and you didn't deserve it it looks to me like you need help and I want you to know that I'm, I'm here and I'd like to help how can you help I need to know a little bit about what you're doing and where you want to be, and then I will try to make your case before uh, the tribunal. Why would you even want to help me? You know the scriptures. We're supposed to help everyone. And this is how you help? This is not what I wanted. Has anybody that you know, that you trusted, that you cared about ever done something that you disagreed with? Everyone makes mistakes. That's exactly right. And these people have just made a big mistake and I, I'd like to fix it if I can. I might even be able to get you an audience with the Cardinals. Are the are they around me too? Like, can or am I just kind of like? Yeah, no, you're myself? all you're all together. Okay. <laughs> why so you guys come? Can hear this. Yeah. <clears throat> why why come to me and not my friends? I'm not sure why, but I trust you. And and watching what happened uh, to you, it just broke my heart. You weren't even fighting you weren't even you know uh trying to hurt anyone you know you seem like an innocent that's just caught up um you know in in events over her head and i want to i want to be able to help this doesn't seem right to me i look over at alice and and bell and and strike and <clears throat> Bill's just sort of starting to wake up. He, he was unconscious until a couple of moments. Oh. Uh, she offers water to you if anybody's interested. I. Did we get away? Who's driving? <sighs> oh shit. Hellas just gives an angry side eye from her one open eye at this point. I just, she, but she just sits silent. I just don't I don't know if I can trust you. Are you even are you more than a robot? Are you a person behind there? You how, how can I trust you? You don't know? Unity, don't trust that thing. It's it's one of them. They're sick bastards some of I us don't. have made mistakes I agree no I, I don't know who you are or why you'd want to help or if you're even real well you know what the scripture says you never have to ask if you should help the answer is always yes and a uh, unity like nods just kind of instinctively at that like yeah that's true um <clears throat> anyway if you just if you just tell me what you were trying to do help me understand your side then i will make sure that the cardinals hear about it 
So, um, very kind of... <sighs> my brow's furrowed, and I'm, I'm trying to think if this is even, you know, something that could help, but then at the same time, it's like I've, you know, so many people have gotten hurt now, and my friends are hurt, and I don't know where we're gonna go, and, and maybe if this one person decides to make a difference and change sides, it could change things for, for us and, and what we're trying to do. And so I was just like... <sighs> okay. We just... We don't want to be controlled anymore. We want to be able to make our own choices and live our own lives with the threat of... <sighs> the wages of sin. To live our own lives, to make our own choices and make our own mistakes. We don't want to be a part of this anymore. I understand. I will do what I can. And she gives you waters and then uh, she asks if she can pray with you. Uh, Unity will nod silently at that she uh, <clears throat> she prays unity of all hear the contents of our heart we do not wish to increase the disharmony but we wish to spread the justice and the peace Bell just starts laughing with this harsh <laughs> chuckle <laughs> She goes yeah. on to uh, to implore um, implore the saints and the angels uh, to 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 empower the those who are worthy and to enlighten those who are not uh, in the name of unity. Amen. And to strike uh, down whoever <clears throat> you don't fucking see fit to fit in your little society, right? Angels don't like uh, that. You do. The uh, the sphere of metal obviously does not have any uh, reaction to that um, but just kind of nods and, and then turns away and then goes back through the uh, through the door and we'll end there okay all right was that a pre uh, scene three yeah well whoever however you guys want to do scene three is fine well, okay a, I mean that I sounds like a too. a good pre scene yeah so like Katie. You're in charge of uh -oh. scene three, heating up. This is where the plot really cranks up, uh, where we take the beat, uh, which was, I guess, the reversal of the all the fuckery that just happened, uh, and we ramp it up. It's intensified, uh -oh. further explored. This might be a longer scene than most because it's a buildup. So tension mounts, etc. cetera. Um, I was thinking about the question while that scene was happening, and I'm wondering yeah. if the question should maybe be, will the authority turn us against each other? Like all of us, as in like everybody? That's or interesting, just our group? to turn it against you guys instead of making it about the authority, make it about you guys. Because that's really what, how the authority works. They're insidious and they turn us against each other. And that's, I think that's also going to tie into the confession system of control, which we're trying, which we need to, we need, we want ideally for us to win this. We want to convert one of these systems of control over. So confession could tie into that question. If we end tonight, that's the only way you guys can win is to convert a system of control. Yeah. All right. Okay. Of course, if I win. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's no hope, <clears throat> which is what I'm going for. I'm going yeah, for the yeah, no yeah, hope yeah, yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's just go as dark as you fucking can. Well, as you can. Yeah. All right. So the question is: Will the authority succeed at turning us against each other? All right. Okay. Or against our against our cause, or just against each other? Same against thing. each other is, is yeah. I think against so, each other. Is Pretty good. Yeah, because if our group implodes, what's driving this? Yeah, yeah. that's actually the more dangerous uh, in my mind. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So I guess then we're starting on scene three. Mm -hmm. So scene three will have a starting off with to pick something. Though for an 
Yeah, you uh, need to pick your authority figure or your friendship question. For the authority figures, we have... Uh, <laughs> I forgot this one. Uh, we have Victory, the who was the white horseman from before. We have the Cardinals and Journey Jenkins. And then the friendship questions. Uh, if we're good guys, why are we always turning away people that agree with you? That's to Bell. Uh, how are you coping with this R-rated stuff that's going on around you? That's <laughs> and uh, did we accomplish anything by killing Pastor Robinson twice? That's to strike. I almost want to go with that one, but um, let's just go with the Cardinals because I think the way that I want this to turn is that so the start of the scene has us in these vehicles and we hear and we're riding for a long time. There's no windows. We have no fucking idea where we are. We stop every now and then, but every time we're let out of the vehicles, fucking bags are put over our head. Like just dark, dark, dark bags, you know, to relieve ourselves. We're given minuscule full amounts of food, but it's very obvious we're traveling far. Like it's it's not anywhere near, but about maybe a day's worth of travel later we can start to hear like in the i mean they're not the most insulated vehicles and we can start to hear a rumble and a roar going on outside and just it sounds like jeering it sounds like cheering it sounds like fucking angry 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 noise and the next time that they let us out of the vehicles there's sort of like we don't we they, this is the first time they've not black bagged us but as they're letting us out all of us in manacles kind of think of how like cattle are led into the slaughterhouse in terms of there are just gates on either side nowhere for us to run nowhere for us to turn and on either side are people jeering sneering and throwing fucking rotten fruit calling sinners whores murderers like just murderers <laughs> filth Hitting on us as we're kind of just led into this holding, and just yelled and shouted at this entire time. Bill just kind of going along with uh, as he's jostled, being fairly passive, generally kind of gr sometimes chuckling or humming a tune. He's been kind of off for ever since he woke. He seems to just find everything a little bit funny. Strike's been mm -hmm. off as well, but for a different reason. After his sisters and Alice and, and his art and all of that were brought up, um, he's, he's pissed off that anybody could use, like, his feelings like that against him like it's a bad thing he's just seething in all of this anger and every fruit that gets tossed at him is just more fuel that he's bottling up inside he is pissed but he's holding it all in yeah like so um he's kind of like following her heads down um she is just kind of keeping up with whoever is in front of her she sees all of the pain in strike and in alice and and you know she's she feels so helpless and so uh, the only thing that she can do is just kind of try to see through the tears in her eyes as they're falling and and the um jeering and the berating and the the, the violence that's swirling around her is just making her feel very small and and and, and unable to to find a way out, so. Uh, Alice. as you... Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, Alice is pretty much broken like the rest of everybody else. Head down, face half swollen, just enduring. The... Uh, one of the pariahs, um, comes by your, your cell, where you're at, uh, and speaks with that voice again the female voice that you heard from uh, earlier and says I have gotten you a an audience with the Cardinals I could not have anticipated it was going to go this way but at least you'll be able to meet them first and she gives you water uh, if you want it um, because you know in the scripture if you give water to somebody in prison then you are of course, 
um, gaining treasures in the afterlife. So uh, she's offering you water if you take it. Okay. No. Okay. Robots don't have afterlives. Do you I'll say that out loud? Yeah. She looks at you and she says, what, what are you talking about? I'm not a robot. And then she walks away. Uh, um, Bell takes his uh, swig down and then reaches over and takes uh, uh, takes the one that... Uh, <laughs> the one that, that Strike <laughs> was refusing and just kind of like raises his eyebrows like as if to say you want and then swills it back <laughs> if he doesn't uh, object. Now Strike's um, going to stay broody in the corner. <laughs> the uh, um, A couple more pariahs come by, open up the cage and begin leading you down a hallway you you enter into a room no no nobody can see you you're just big long hallway um th- you should it should you should note like this is not a um this is not like an uh, an underground or a uh, an abandoned warehouse or even like a school type facility this looks palatial like everything is insanely um, gilded and and nice and marbled and and almost like mm. almost futuristic, like in a sense, like like in that you weren't aware that the technology existed to build on this level uh, because you just you've never seen it. Like the the architecture is odd and and a little bit off putting, but also extraordinarily um, pretty and, and something that you might see. You know, if you had traveled, you know, beyond the borders of uh, where you live, which you never have, uh, as you make your way down this corridor, uh, you are led to um, an immense um, uh, waiting area. You know, like a like a um, I forgot what they call them. Um, the room before the room that you're going to. <laughs> there's a there's a word for that. But antechamber. Bam. There it is. Uh, you are led into an antechamber, um, and the the pariahs are there holding you, and you're looking at this door that is just like ten feet tall, uh, and it's like one of those swinging open doors, and it's got two levels of like gilded bars, you know, that you would hold onto and push. Um, and after about five minutes of waiting, the thank you, Palmer, uh, the the doors swing open. And you are uh, kind of motioned in by, I don't know, it seems like a like a, a person made of light that's sitting about uh, 20 meters inside a gigantic room. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a breath here and see if you guys have any interactions with what's happening. Um, a person made of light is definitely not something I would have expected to see anywhere. So <laughs> I'm kind of uh, awestruck, and 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 um, I look. Over, I mean, I'll, I'll nudge Bell. It's like, Bell, what is that? I think it's very funny. Right? Oh, he knows what that is. <laughs> uh. It's got to be some sort of fucked up special effects. They're just fucking with us. Just some keep it cool. <laughs> I love how like the opportunities he gets <laughs> to be like, it's aliens. He's like, no, it's not aliens. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, as you're led in, uh, the pariahs kind of shove you inside the door, and then the doors close. The pariahs are no longer there. Uh when the door shuts and when you're inside um, there are uh, 16 of these light people sitting all around in a huge semicircle and they're all sort of looking at you but the closer you get to them you notice that um, that Bell was actually correct uh, the light was just an effect uh, from that far away the whatever they're wearing on themselves uh just reflected the light which was backlit and so it made them look like they were made out of light but 
really they're just wearing sort of reflective clothing and uh, you were standing in a darker place. So good for you, Belle. Like, I that. <laughs> that was so obvious. <laughs> I've reviewed lots of fake UFO footage in my time. All right? I know the smell of stuff. Lens flare. That's your cat. Uh, so yeah. yeah, the closer you get, like their 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 outfits do look again like they're they're very elegant once you get up close, but also just like unearthly is a word, but also like like just just sort of advanced and too exotic and and pretty for what you've ever seen before um and these these people have human faces they're not like alien looking but they they're kind faces as well and they um they they say please would you would you have a seat and there's some chairs there for you to sit on they look very comfortable there's refreshments there there's kind of, I mean, like, uh, very good-looking um, uh, vegetables. Uh, there's water. Uh, there's even some juice. You're not sure what kind, but it smells nice. Alice um, fucking rudely sits down on the fucking chair, kicks her feet up, not caring what she knocks over on the table, and just kind of crosses her arms as much as she can very defiantly as she looks at everybody. Kind of not really having much of effect, considering half of her face is still kind of fucking swollen up and bruising pretty heavily, but it doesn't look fucking impressed anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, pretty nice outfits. They give you one of those in exchange for your soul, I guess? <laughs> they say, uh, you wouldn't believe us if we told you where we got them. I'm pretty oh. sure that'd be good. <laughs> I think I've got some idea already. I know who your real masters are. <laughs> they laugh. They all laugh. Sixteen of them. They say, "You, you really don't." <laughs> uh, and and they, two of them, um, sort of like number four and number twelve. Uh, they they take off their robes and they step down off of their sort of raised platform. Uh, throne type things um, and they 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 bring their chairs with them and they sit down in front of you and like I said they've taken off their sort of like robe type reflector type things um, and they're wearing kind of everyday clothes um, clothes that you would expect not even from like leaders and, and pastors and things but just like normal people and they shirt and jeans uh, like the equivalent, right? Like a, a modest, uh, you know, nice looking form of, of that, you know. They, they sit down in front of you and they they say, we have a problem. Uh, the problem is partially you and the problem is also partially what what we've created. Do you know who we are? The Cardinals? Yes. <laughs> Sweetheart, yes, that's true. Uh, we are we are the Cardinals. So the root of all the of literally all the fucking problems then. But do you know who we are? Do you know why we're Cardinals? Do you know what we do? Because you sucked the biggest dick when fucking religion came to head and somehow that puts you in the place that you are. Alice. And number Boom. thirteen. High five. Number Number thirteen, <laughs> number thirteen laughs and says, ha, 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 "They're talking about you, Stamp." <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the thing: Have you ever heard of the Gillinists? Yes. Oh, they, look ar- they look around to to all of you. No. Uh, no. I read it uh, in a book. If you read it in a book, good, good for you. Uh, so you know the Gillinists were the the society that was ex- in existence before the unity of all uh, took over and started making things right. Do you know anything about the Gillinists? Have you ever read about them? Nada. Yes. Maybe because all previous books were burned by certain fucking individuals. All right, you. <laughs> fucking unity, silly me. Feel, unity, feel free to, to tell us what you know. Um, gosh, uh, well, 
I know that the Jillinists were xenophobic and that they were trying to um, profit from wars and I know that they, they ended up hurting a lot more people than they helped. That's, the, that's absolutely correct. Why the uh, fuck are you dragging this out? Uh, we know we're fucked. You're just gonna kill us anyway, or disappear us, or... They're just toying with their brains. food to see if they can get anything out of us before they do us. What's the point of all this? Just get it over with already. <laughs> like I don't care about your stupid fucking monologue. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> I know we lost. Well, here's the thing. We know that we've lost our way. We know that we... Would it surprise you that <clears throat> many years ago, we stood up, this 16 of us, stood up against the Jillinists in the same way that you're standing up to us now? Because they were awful. They were bad and they were hurting the people that we loved and we couldn't stand by and do anything and do nothing. So we fought them, we rebelled. And against all odds, we overcame them. And we got the chance to do things different. We got the chance to do things better. And we, yet here you are, peeing the it. same fucking mistakes. That's it. The problem is, we see you going down the same path. The exact same path. You thought because somebody was, was too much, was doing things too wrong, that you could kill them, and that would make things right. We thought the same thing, and it's that sort of attitude that got us to where we are today. If you do something wrong, if it, if it has the potential of hurting too many people, then you must stop it by any means necessary. That is the society you live in. That's where we are now, and it's our fault, but you're doing the exact same thing. So, here's what we decided. We decided that we would create the Tears of Unity. We decided that we would create this thing that gave people powers in order to destroy us. What? And that's you. That's We created this thing. The Tears of Unity don't kill people. The Tears of Unity give people powers. We decide to kill certain people because they're inconvenient and they're destructive and chaotic. What, you thought my sisters were inconvenient? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. The thing Why is- Why were my sisters, sisters inconvenient? Your sisters developed powers that would have destroyed the world. And that's on us, and we're very sorry. But moving on, we, we need to be overthrown. And we want you to do it. Wait, why? I'm not gonna fucking take your place. So what, then we can just start the cycle all over again? That's what it seems like. That is what it's like. Nobody so what, are we going to kill you? Power. We've gotten rid of war, which means that we can't, we can't turn against a common enemy. We can't unify the people. We've gotten stagnant. We need something to kickstart us into being better than we are. So that's where you come in. We have been creating super people with powers for many, many, many years. As you, as you know, the, the horsemen, for example, uh, even Pastor Robinson uh, had his mind control powers and his illusion powers. Uh, we need you to be better than us. And right now you're walking that path, but you're walking it dangerously close to the way we were. You are just like us. You are doing the exact same things that we did. Before, the Jillinists, they were staunch atheists, and nobody could believe anything except for there was no God. And anybody who dared to have any faith at all was burned at the stake. Is that what you want? To be that in reverse? No. And yet, that's what we became. If you keep yeah. going down the road that you're going down, you'll be just like them. You'll be just like us in reverse. So what, we kill you because you're fucking inconvenient? Is that how it is? Is that how it goes? That's Gladly. how we fucking wind up just like you. Number one said, see, I told you this wouldn't work. Where did, you, where did you get the ability to give people powers? It's not something you just stumbled across normally like penicillin. 
Number uh, seven says, uh, oh, the Jillinists had a lot of different uh, ways of, of converting people's genes. We stole it from them. Number five says, I... <clears throat> yep, that's correct. Anyway. This is bullshit. Uh, if you wanted to end yourselves, then turn yourselves over. Why do you need a hostile takeover? Why do you well, need that's... superpowers? All of this sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Well, I have a way that we can, we can, we can put this to the people. Is that what you want? To no. put the power in the hands of the people? You can put yourselves right fucking here in front of us and we can slit each one of your goddamn throats and end it. If that's what you no. fucking want. Drake, that makes us no, no better than them. Is that what you want, Unity? No. Do you want to kill us all, even though we're not offering any resistance and we're open to change? Change on your turn. Anyway, what I'm willing to do is to uh, give you the opportunity to talk to the people. You can have the eyes and the ears of the entire nation and you can tell everyone what your truth is and how we need to uh, be destroyed and you can win them over if that's what you want and whatever you win them over with is where this nation will go from here and why but trust us it's not as, it's not as you do simple. it why well, can't you why can't you, you want decide you obviously want to change why us you do it you put us in the fucking mess you get ourselves out of the fucking mess we shouldn't have been here None of us should have been where we are right now if you got over your fucking selves and did what you want to do. Why do you need other people to do it for you? Why can't you take responsibility for your own goddamn fucking actions? What would you have us do? Turn yourselves in, change something. I don't fucking know. It's your goddamn system. Don't you remember the man named... Matthias Yale, a few years ago, he turned himself in, admitted all of his sins, and what happened? The people forgave him, and he became Pastor Yale. That's how this would work. We turn ourselves in, we admit everything, the people see us as, wow, that's amazing, they're so honest, and they're so good, they can really change. And listen, we've been through this a number of times, and the only way that things change is revolution. We agree with you. We want to empower you. If you don't want this, we'll send you back to your cells and we'll start over with somebody else. How many fucking people have you gone through at this point? <laughs> Number 15 says, <laughs> this, is about, this has been about the 20th time. And you wonder why all of us just keep saying no and take it, shove it. <laughs> That's if they even time? said no. You're so young. <laughs> anyway. We have a um, we have a studio set up, and uh, a, a few thousand people we have access to. They were it will be here in a few hours, and we're setting everything up. If you would want you... to speak to the nation, we will give you the ability to do so. If you do not want to speak, then we will speak on your behalf. That's what's happening. You can go now. They get up, put their robes on and walk back to the dais. I am going to call a struggle. What I want is for you to agree to address the nation and to speak your truth. Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Shit. What do we want? Uh, that, that sounds that have, sounds like it's too good. Like I don't feel like you would fight right? that so hard. Let me do something else. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, I guess uh, so. <clears throat> okay, twist eye, yeah, rubber yeah, arm. Yeah. I want you to believe that these guys are legit and want and want to help. Okay. Okay. What do you guys want? Well, they said they've gone through about 20 rounds of us, so that yeah. must mean they have, basically, if we say no, the next line up to do their bidding. So, do we want to break out and cause chaos in the streets? Break everybody out? Um, cause mayhem? I don't know. 
Well, I, I don't know, I think that maybe, like, instead of doing something like that, we can find, you know, I guess, like, what happened to the others, <laughs> you know, like, did they agree to, to talk, and then, so, because, you know, we don't remember any of them ever, you know, any kind of big announcement made, so. Get them to the, reveal their bigger plot. What their actual bigger plot is, because there's no way. <laughs> fuck, this is it. <laughs> yeah, maybe something like that. Turn it. Um, yeah, we have to. I think our hope has to be like we we do a reversal. We break the cycle. Uh, that'd be a good question to wrap this up. Any good hope? Can we break for, the cycle? Break the yeah, cycle. Uh, for for this yeah. for this particular one, breaking the cycle is a little bit big, don't you think? Yeah. Are but if you, wanted, if you wanted to make that plan? the question for the episode, that would be a good question for the episode. Mm. Anyway, uh, I think, let's see. I uh, think our hope, then our hope would need to be that we use it to our advantage. Mm -hmm. We use this opportunity to our advantage. Uh, okay. Uh, whatever that advantage may be. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So who's going to stand up? I'm going to stand up a real quick. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, I don't All think right, I then I'll stand I, up. I'll stand okay, up. I don't okay. think I've made you angry enough. That's this is. <laughs> oh, you got strike angry enough. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, my gosh. In this scene, I don't think I've made you angry enough. Ten. I'm using a subtle, a more subtle form Insidious of... Insidious approach? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think you're succeeding. <laughs> <laughs> I took you guys on a little bit of a... So, so, so that you were playing at home, when we brainstorm, uh, when we brainstormed how bad this authority would be, we talked about how they would use gaslighting and, and shouting louder uh, and using uh, toxic harassment via anonymity, right? Those things all showed up in the first scene. Um, but then we have false trust and then we have, you know, abuse of power. And then we have the idea that they're actually trying to do good, but it's twisted. So we're, we're trying to, we're trying to go somewhere and show you some of the, uh, the breadth of, of how organizations like this can hurt people. Mm -hmm. Um, are we, are we back in our cell? Is the intent to get back to our cell and have right now they're just us, walking or... back up the dais. If you guys want to struggle, okay, gotcha. you can you can narrate how, whatever struggle you want. Uh, hey, Radio just became our stream boss. Yay! Let Rebel. us know who you are supporting. No, no. We know who he's supporting. We know. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, okay, so with my, with my 10, always authority, yep. Yes. Authority's got two blocks. We've got My zero. Man. All right. So you're standing up. Uh, are you standing up after you've left, or are you standing up as they're walking back up the dais? I need to. I need to stand up now. Uh, okay. Your whole sister on the line. Jesus. Yeah. I'm thinking shit starter. Okay. Do it. Um, or I can go sneaky. Shit starter, shit starter. Do it! Fucking throw the fruit back at them. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go, I'll go... I'll go shit starter. Yes! So... Strike... Screams. You don't get the last word. You. You think. You think that. You just pull in whoever the hell you want. To. Throw you down. Who the fuck do you all think you are? Killing people indiscriminately. Who. Why, why should anybody trust you? 
that you're even going to get our word out to the people. The people that you've been brainwashing for years upon years. Why can't it come through you? You are the fucking source. You could change everything. You literally own the source code. We know you're angry. And you're right, we do control everything. But we've also seen what happens when there's no control. We've also seen what happens when there's <clears throat> too much control or too little control. This is honestly the best we could do, but sometimes things need to be shaken up. Now, I understand you're angry. I would be angry too if I lost someone close to me. If I lost number four up here or number seven, I'd be upset. But you never what have I... had you. You've never felt that, have you? Once, once we were we were capable of, of feeling that, but not since we learned the secret of giving life back. Would you like your sisters back? Because we can make that happen. Oh my god! Oh my god! And I'll take seven and four. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Lydia. Conan the Barbarian. Oh. Yeah. I'll stand up. Okay. Uh, uh, also, uh, uh, Venzi became our stream boss and gave the click a reroll. He doesn't want to sleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> what is I got, I got six. Yes. Respect the narrative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use my trust issues because I feel like there's way more to this than what they're telling us. And if it is like, so like, you just said that you murdered his sisters because they were too powerful. How could you possibly bring them back? You can't have it both ways. It's like. That's not how this works. Strike, don't don't trust them. They're lying. They're lying, huh? <clears throat> yeah. That makes perfect fucking sense. You want us to go on stage and make asses of ourselves. Because you know that we can't fucking hack it. You're the ones with the fucking power. Oh, Unity. That's... We know that you have trouble trusting people. And, and we are right there with you. We didn't trust the Jillinists, which is why we revolted. But ultimately, if you live long enough, you realize that you do have to trust. You have to choose to trust people for good or for bad. But we do understand why you're hesitant. And, and listen, is it worth, and she looks at Strike, is it worth killing one or two people if it saves thousands, millions? You know what that's like, don't you? And I will take number 12. <clears throat> All right, then I'm going to stand up, I think. No, not I think, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Get it, <Elf. laughs> yes. <laughs> and that means I win. No, wait, you have a struggle. You have a, a, a reroll because of, because of oh. dumb old Damien. Hey. Only I get to call him dumb old Damien. Especially on the fucking old part. Or, okay, or we sell out. Yeah, you just straight up win. We believe that they are you, legit. You, oh, yeah. you burn your edge, mm -hmm. and, you, and you get four net hits. And, yeah. we, and actually, selling out would just, we still use the opportunity to our advantage, but yeah, you just you just go down a... I think a we're just going to let the opportunity have this one. Or let the authority have this one. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, we keep I, winning so many fucking I'd scenes. rather do the hang of that reroll. I think it's going to be important later. Yeah. We, we but, could still sell out. Yeah, you could sell out and we win automatically. Yeah, I don't care I as much about losing this one. taking one for the narrative. One. You know? Taking one for the narrative. <laughs> we win every single one. And, you know, we're, either way, we're going on TV and they're kind of getting their ways. But we won't I think be able to use... Will, kind of in abiding his time mode, so he doesn't really want to lay anything on the line at this moment. He just kind of lets his friends have their say, and he's putting together a little plate at the uh, uh, hors d'oeuvres table. Somebody's giving you a platform, too, on that one, Bill. Why would you want to sacrifice that? Yeah, he could. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's like, he's like, I got the this. ultimate platform. Yeah. I'm getting exactly what I want. I just uh, look over. <laughs> I look up from a bowl as I'm sc scooping some cheese dip onto my little plate with the crackers and saying, <laughs> "It wouldn't really be your sister. You get back anyway. They're just they're just pulling your chain." Let's do this. Oh, All right, light number you four decide, on fire. You decide to do this. Oh my gosh. I wanted That's... to light number four on fire and make him cry. <laughs> uh, Nobody hurts strength like that. Uh, as the scene ends... Um... Nah, we'll save that. All right, we'll have number, <laughs> number four. <laughs> scene four. Actually, well, how, about a, how about a 10 minute break? Yeah, that sounds good. It's ten thirty, so it's time for our our break. So everyone, let's uh, let's take a let's take a moment to collect ourselves and think oh very deep about what the fuck is about to go down. So, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, stay tuned, I guess. All right. See you in a bit. <laughs> 